Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson I'm going to show you how you can write a comparison and contrast essay. We will start first with a sample essay. So how many paragraphs are there in this text? Of course there are one, two, three and four. And what's the function of each uh, paragraph? Look at the first one, what's usually the function of the first paragraph? Of course it is the introduction. What about the second and the third paragraphs? Of course, they function as the body. And the last one is, of course, a conclusion. Okay. What about the function of the whole text? What is its purpose? Is it to compare and contrast, to entertain, to narrate, or to persuade? Let's read the first paragraph first, that is the introduction. Uh, what is it like to transition from elementary to middle school? That is a question many kids ask each year. Having experienced both, I can tell you that there are plenty of similarities as well as some very big differences between the two types of schools. So what's uh, the, from the introduction, what's the function of the whole text or what is its purpose? Of course, we have here similarity and differences, so it's to compare and to contrast. There are strategies to write a comparison and contrast essay. There are exactly three. The first one is what we call whole to whole or block uh, strategy. And the second one is called similarities to differences. And uh, the third one is a point by point strategy and we will explain the, these three strategies strategy number one uh, in this strategy which is called the whole to whole or block strategy you say everything about one item okay then you move on to say everything about the other item as you can see here we have item one and item two and uh, we'll take the example of uh, Chimiset and Casablanca. So we have introduction. Then you start talking about uh, uh, Chimiset. You say everything about Chimiset. Then you move on to the second paragraph and you say everything about Casablanca before you uh, write your conclusion. Now, strategy number two, similarities to differences. In this strategy or this structure, you explain all the similarities about the items being compared, and then you explain all the differences about the, uh, the items being compared. Okay, let's stick with the example of Chimisat and Casablanca. So you write your introduction, you go to similarities section, and you talk about uh the crimes unemployment uh, people's concerns etc in both Chmisat and casablanca then you move to the differences section and you talk about the uh, differences in size in infrastructure in the weather etc okay the last strategy point by point strategy in this structure you explain one point of comparison before you move to the next point. That is, you go point by point. For example, we stick to the example of Chimisat and Casablanca. You write your introduction and then you talk about point number one. For example, you talk about inf infrastructure in both Chimisat and Casablanca. Then you go to this, the other paragraph and then you talk about the climate of Chimisat and Casablanca. Once you're done, once you've finished, you move to point number three. For example, uh, I'm just giving you examples. Uh, you talk about the population of Chimiset and Casablanca before you write your conclusion. Remember that one, uh, one idea per, per paragraph. Don't include more than one idea in a paragraph. Okay? Let's, let's check uh, your understanding of the three strategies and let's go back to the text we've, we started with. Uh, is the text hall to hall or a block or similarities to differences or a point by point? 
okay here's the text we don't need to read the introduction and conclusion we'll read only the second and the third paragraph that is the body so let's read the first uh, para first paragraph of the body elementary schools and uh, middle schools have many traits in common typically both are open five days a week for a set number of hours each day students sit at desks in classrooms and are expected to listen and to learn from their teachers there is a set time for lunch each day students are given homework assignments students take quizzes and tests in all of these ways middle school should feel somewhat familiar to new students second paragraph of the body however there are some big changes that new middle school students should be aware of in elementary school students usually stay in the same classroom with one teacher for most of the day that is not the case in middle school where students typically have a different teacher for each subject students must move to a different classroom for each subject too since there is not one classroom in which to store supplies middle schools often provide students with lockers for many kids getting a locker is a welcome rite of passage so what is the, uh, the the first paragraph of the body about what is it about similarities or differences of course it's about similarities and the second paragraph is about the differences so what is the strategy used here is it whole to whole similarity to differences or point by point of course it's similarities to differences okay because as we said in the first paragraph of the body the writer explains how the two uh, things how the two things are similar how the two schools are similar and in the second paragraph of the body the writer explains how the two schools or the two things are different okay let's recapitulate uh, the first paragraph which is the the introduction in this paragraph the writer explains what two things he or she will be comparing and contrasting that's what the introduction is all about in the first paragraph the writer explains how the two schools are similar in the second paragraph the writer explains how the two schools are different but in the conclusion the writer shows why it is useful to know how the two things are different and alike okay for example in the conclusion he says uh, or she says i don't know making the move from elementary school to middle school may seem scary but knowing what to expect can really help elementary school provides kids with the experiences they need to be ready for middle school so the writer shows why it is useful to know how the two schools are different and alike now it's your turn to to write something to write an essay a comparison and contrast essay uh, it says stephen king said books and movies are like apples and oranges they both are fruit but taste completely different so please write an essay to be posted on a blog your blog showing that books and movies have several common things and yet have differences so you know what you're gonna do for the, the first thing you you've got to do the first thing you've got to do is read the instructions carefully and underline or circle the most important words or phrases uh, in the instructions so here the, the important words are books and movies so you compare books and movies and you give the common and the common things and the differences once you're done understanding the instructions you move to the second stage of uh, your writing and uh, you do brainstorming what is brainstorming so uh, alex uh, alex fickney osborne came up with the, this idea or strategy of brainstorming in the 1930s and in very simple terms it just means uh, writing down as many ideas as you can about a topic without judgment 
to generate good ideas write down all of your ideas on a piece of paper and at this stage don't think whether they're good or bad you will decide later on and uh, brainstorming usually is done in classroom and it's done in a group that's why uh, alex osborne said that we have to focus on quantity because uh, as he said the quantity breeds quality the second thing is withhold criticism especially when it's done in a group refrain from criticism don't criticize because judgment is suspended when judgment is suspended sorry participants will feel free to generate unusual ideas the third thing is welcome unusual ideas encourage weird and wacky ideas because when you uh, when you welcome uh, ideas of course uh, people will free feel free to blurt out ideas as long as they're of course on topic number four the last one combine and improve ideas of course it is uh, it, this follows the slogan one plus one equals three brainstorming is believed to stimulate the building of ideas by uh, the process of uh, association now for example let's try uh, an example of uh, brainstorming with this uh, topic which makes great pets dogs or cats so the best way to brainstorm this uh, topic is using what we call uh, venn diagram and what is a venn diagram it is a diagram that shows all possible and logical relations between uh, different sets for example here we have two sets okay and this these two sets overlap so uh, we have item one and item two and the overlap there in the middle so here on the on the on the left we're going to write uh, the things uh, that make uh, cats good pets and on the on the right we're going to write the things which make dogs good pets and in the middle we're going to write thing things which they both have dogs and cats for example cats catch mice they stay alone for days they are independent of uh, human beings and they use cat box you don't need to take them out like you do with dogs dogs on the other hand obey orders they are good companion they are protective and they are loyal but both dogs and cats need attention of course both destroy furniture just think of your uh, dog uh, chewing uh, up your uh, sneakers or uh, chewing at the the table and uh, the cat of course uh, scratching at your carpet so both destroy furniture both shed hair and that's bad for people with allergies and both have fleas so you see that it's a you know, venn diagram is a good uh, way to brainstorm a compare comparison and uh, contrast essay of course you need linking words and expressions in comparison and contrast essay like the ones i'm going to show you i'm not going to read all of them of course you can uh, come back to them you can press pause to read them at your pace for example to compare you can use both and similarly similar to just like etc and in contrast you can use and like in contrast conversely on the other hand on, on the contrary etc and in the conclusion you can summarize using these expressions all things considered to summarize in short uh, in a nutshell and so on don't forget your assignment stephen king said books and movies are like apples and oranges they both are fruit but taste completely different don't forget to write an essay to be posted on a blog showing that books and movies have several common things and yet have differences. You know, mastering language needs practice. So I want you to practice your writing. Thank you and good luck with your writing.